However, I really believe that semiconductors could change the world. And now you fast forward to today, and what the last few years has taught us is that semiconductors are truly essential to every part of our life. And being in Taiwan this week reminds me that Taiwan is truly the center of the global semiconductor ecosystem. The talent, the resources, the innovation, the culture, and the spirit in Taiwan are really what make the semiconductor ecosystem here truly amazing. Thank you so much. So, um, uh, President Lin said that uh, I'm in Taiwan, so I must speak some Chinese today. So, Dacha Hao. Wohen Gaoshin, Jintian, Nungolai, Yangming, Jiao Tong, Dashre. President Lin, Dean Wang, distinguished guests and students, thank you all very much for this great honor. I am extremely proud and humbled to receive this honorary doctorate from such an incredible university in Taiwan and also throughout the world. This week that I've been in Taiwan has been truly fantastic. As someone who was born in Taiwan and grew up in the United States, every time I come to Taiwan, it's like coming home. And this time, coming home actually feels more special because it's been too long since we could be here. After a great week meeting with our partners and our customers and our employees, this honorary doctorate is truly the best way to finish the week for me. Thank you so much. I'm truly honored to accept this recognition, and I'm deeply grateful. <laughs> the principles of National Yangming Zhao Tong University are truly close to my heart, because you were founded on the idea that a great university is a place where people come together across multiple disciplines to solve real-world problems. And I truly believe that whether you're in research or you're in business, the way to really bring about the most groundbreaking innovation actually requires this holistic approach across multiple disciplines and multiple perspectives. NYCU is a pioneer in bringing together multiple disciplines, and to learn those disciplines in school is really the best preparation for the future. I really have tremendous respect and admiration for President Lin and Dean Wang and all of the faculty and staff of NYCU who are shaping the next generation of leaders. I would not be where I am today without the support of my professors who guided me when I was a young student at MIT. Now, it's also really wonderful to see all the students that are here with us today and all who are watching us online. Maybe I can take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about my story. So when I was a young electrical engineering student, I was thinking, how could I make a difference in the world? Actually, there were so many smart people at MIT. I felt that it's really hard to decide what to do. However, my inspiration came from the first time I went into a semiconductor lab. What I realized then is my true passion was to build things. And semiconductor chips were things that I could build in a lab and touch and feel. And I then decided I wanted to get a PhD in semiconductors. And at the time, nobody thought semiconductors were interesting. Actually, most people did not even know what is a semiconductor. However, I really believe that semiconductors could change the world. And now you fast forward to today, and what the last few years has taught us is that semiconductors are truly essential to every part of our life. And being in Taiwan this week reminds me that Taiwan is truly the center of the global semiconductor ecosystem. The talent, the resources, the innovation, 
the culture and the spirit in Taiwan are really what make the semiconductor ecosystem here truly amazing. I've been in this industry now for almost 30 years, and I must say I'm incredibly proud to be in this industry, and together we really do change the world. Now, as exciting as the last few years have been, I actually believe the next 10 years will be much, much more exciting. The innovation opportunities ahead of us are truly enormous, and the computing industry is changing very fast. And perhaps the most important aspect is AI. AI is really the defining megatrend for the next 10 years and more, and generative AI has really reshaped how we think about this where we see that every product, every service, every business in the world will be impacted by AI, and the technology is actually evolving faster than anything that I've ever seen before. Now, AI also requires that all of the disciplines come together, including hardware, software, systems, applications, and even business models. And this is the perfect example of the multidisciplinary approach and different perspectives that NYCU is all about. So it's an incredibly exciting time for all of us in the technology industry, and it's also an opportunity for all of us to come together to drive the industry faster. So let me finish by saying thank you. I really want to acknowledge my AMD team and our partners and all of our friends and colleagues in Taiwan. This recognition is really for all of the work that we have done together. And of course, I also want to thank my parents and my family for all of their support. And some of my relatives are here uh, today. Uh, thank you for being here. I'm very, very happy today to become part of the NYCU family. And I'm very, very optimistic about the future and the role that we, now as alumni of NYCU, will play in using technology to solve the world's toughest challenges. It's truly an honor to be here today. Thank you again, President Lin and Dean Wang, and to all of the faculty, staff, and students at NYCU. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Su. Thank you.